Welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. The three keys to your success is just moments away. Here's your host, Brian Kelly. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. I am so excited, so excited to bring this show to you because we have a phenomenal, phenomenal expert guest with us. Uh, before we dive into it, the Mind Body Business Show, what is that all about? Well, it comes down to the fact that there are three pillars to success, three of them. And if you don't master all three of them, then you are setting yourself up for a struggle. You may succeed, but it will be more of a struggle than is necessary. So let's say that you have mastered a positive mindset and you've mastered that skill, but you have basically let your body go and you're not putting all you can into your business, well, you're gonna struggle. Or if you've done two of the three and you've done them well and you've mastered them, let's say you've mastered business and you've mastered your body, you've exercised, you ate right, and everything's going well there, but you've done little to nothing and neglected your mindset in improving that. Well, again, you're gonna struggle. So this is all about putting all the three pieces together. It's like a tripod. If you have three legs and you kick one of those legs out, what's gonna happen? Well, that tripod's gonna come tumbling down, isn't it? And so that is what this show is all about, is to help you to build all three legs of that tripod, to keep them firm and standing. And that's why our next special guest is such a perfect, a perfect uh, example of that. Before we do that, I want to run into something, a segment um, I call bookmarks. And we'll show you what that means in just a moment. But here it comes. We're up for bookmarks. Bookmarks. Born to read. Bookmarks. Ready. Steady. Read. Bookmarks. Brought to you by ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Yes, ReachYourPeakLibrary.com. Uh, that's a site that I put together for a very specific purpose. And as you can see there, the number one reason for lack of success is not simply a lack of reading books, but it's the lack of reading the right books. And some don't read any at all. I was one of those that read, if I was lucky to read one in a decade, I kid you not. Uh, and there's a story on that website. I won't go into it here, but the bottom line is I got enough of those signs from very uh, prominent and successful entrepreneurs that all said, read and read the right books and you will see a dramatic result in your life. So that's what I started doing and I started doing it ferociously and you'll see uh, on this site as I scroll down so that you don't have to go there now. Stay with us. There's just book after book, approximately 40 of them. I have read every single one of these. Not to boast or brag, but to present them to you as being vetted as high quality books that you can just simply go in and, and acquire and read it in whichever form you, you desire. Audible, hardcover, Kindle, you see all the different variations there. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Lots and lots and lots of books. Those are there for you. And the beautiful thing is uh, I love to listen to books. I found that that was, for me, the best mode to ingest the information and retain it. And I noticed while listening on Audible, an actual app, that there was the ability to actually just tap a bookmark symbol. I could be driving and tap it, and it's no different than changing the dial on a radio, if you remember those days, <laughs> uh, as far as safety goes. And I just press the uh, bookmark, and then I can go back later on the internet, on the web, or even on my phone, and replay that. And so I started doing that and bookmarked those areas that I thought were pertinent. And so that's what we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you one of those bookmarks and that's from Grant Cardone's The 10X Rule. Very, very popular book. Uh, this is very fitting, especially for the gentleman you are about to meet that I brought in as my very special expert guest. And I got to tell you, he's one of my best friends in the world. He's just a phenomenal, phenomenal individual. Well, what I'm going to do is play this and I hope you can hear it. We've tested this many times in the before coming up. If you cannot hear it, it doesn't matter. I will tell you what he said. So here we go. This is Grant Cardone in the 10X Rule. I thought it'd be uh, perfect for this chapter since the purpose here is to discuss the idea that crybabies, uh, I said it, whiners and victims just don't do well at attracting or creating success. It's not even that they aren't capable. It's just that people who typically succeed are required to take big actions. And it's impossible to take big actions if you don't take big responsibility. 
It's equally impossible to do something positive when you're spending your time making excuses. Hey, look, it's not even that these people aren't capable. It's just that people who typically succeed are required to take big action. And it's impossible to take big actions if you don't take big responsibility. It's equally impossible to do something positive when you're spending your time making excuses. Because look, man, making excuses is just being negative. You must understand, as I've already stated countless times, success is not something that happens to you. It's something that happens because of you. Boom. I love that. And if you did not by chance hear that, here is a summary. Are you a whiner or a winner? You can't be both. It's impossible to take big actions if you don't take big responsibility. It's equally impossible to do something positive when you're spending your time making excuses. Success is not something that happens to you. It's something that happens because of you. And the epitome of positive mindset is with us right now, right here. And I would love to introduce you to him because this man uh, was the beginning of the turning point for me and my life and positive mindset when it comes to positive mindset. I remember a short story, um, the, one of the first times, I, well, I met him about eight years ago, then we went to a mastermind together. And at this mastermind, we were given some tasks to go out, out into the town and achieve these tasks. And I remember there were some hiccups, some road bumps, uh, speed bumps, I should call them. And uh, I know my reaction was not a positive one internally. And I watched Jason, because we were paired up uh, to do this task, and in every step of the way, no matter what hurdle befronted us, this guy took the positive road every single time without, didn't get uh, flustered in the, in the least. And I thought, wow, this guy is amazing. I want to I wanna drink whatever Kool-Aid he's drinking. And so what I want to do, if you don't mind, is bring on our special guest expert right about now. It's time for the Guest Expert Spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And there he is to my left, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's learn a little bit about Jason uh, before I allow him to talk. <laughs> Jason has over 35 years in direct response marketing, including as seen on TV, film, radio, print, billboards, direct mail, online, email. Taking that experience and matching it with the right talent has contributed to over $100 million in net sales. I said that right, 100 million. Not if you agree if that was the correct number there, Jason. For those of you watching on live podcast, he nodded. He's now serving a new generation of marketers via direct response mobile text-based marketing to increase consumer engagement into the third decade of the new millennium. Mm -hmm. Jason is also the author of Crowdfunding Secrets Unlocked, the right combination to unlock and unleash your crowdfunding success. And just a second, before I actually bring him on, <laughs> I wanna make sure you understand, watch this show until the end, all the way to the end, for a chance to win a complimentary stay at one of six five-star luxury resorts in Mexico. I kid you not. And a $250 30-day tech services opt-in list conversion package. Both both of these compliments of Jason's company called powertexting.com. With that, at last, finally, Jason, I would like to bring you to the forefront and meet this wonderful crowd we have. How are you doing today, my brother? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the whew, kind words and the introduction. I'm blushing over here. I'm all beat red. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I, I want to say uh, real quick because I got to hear it. And um, getting to know Brian Kelly is truly one of the best things that ever happened to me. This man has so much energy and so much to give and, uh, and, a, and a complete selfless giver uh this guy gives 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 and without expectation of return with he just gives and that is such an amazing quality and uh so many things have improved in my life as a result of knowing this man so i, I gotta i gotta go with that this guy is great man it's a love fest thank I tell you. you it is it is hey you. we get in a room it's the way it is <laughs> 
Well, awesome, awesome. Well, let's uh, let's get right into it. I want to get uh, this show is all about bringing value to you, the listener, to you, the audience, so that you get something out of it. Uh, we charge nothing for this show. Um, the plan is to never charge anything f to view this show. This is just absolute value. Jason Nast was not charged any appearance fee, nor is he being paid an appearance appearance fee. Damn, this is I 100% tried. Don't, giving. don't get me wrong. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 100% giving, and that's uh, that was that's our um, that's our philosophy at Reach Your Peak, and I know it's Jason's as well because I know him. This guy gives. Talk about giving. This guy. I mean, we could do a contest right now. We could be on here all <laughs> give night you a gush talking fest. about. I could say, wait a minute, but what about this? And he'll say, well, yeah, but what about that? And we'll just keep going back and forth. Yeah. We could do that all night. But here's the thing. Let's get back. Let's get right into it. You just started somewhat recently this brand new business called PowerTexting.com. I know yes, now, having been involved in as a customer, how amazing it is. But I'm curious because you've been involved in so many businesses over the past and successful ones. What ignited you, you know, what ignited you to start a new business? What was the spark that got ignited that you said, I'm going to do another one? Well, yeah, a couple things, Brian. One, uh, as I, you mentioned earlier, I've been 35 years in the direct response business. So uh, everything from TV, as seen on TV products, uh, infomercial marketing, the whole nine yards. And for 35 years, literally, my job has been to get the word out, to get the message out to the masses. And uh, as we move into 2020 and 2000, it's easy to get your message out nowadays. People can post on Facebook and they can, you know, it's, it's really simple to get the word out. How the key is getting the message read. And about five years ago, I was part of a committee studying uh, mobile marketing with the Electronic Retailers Association, which is kind of the governing body for the uh, infomercial industry and direct response. And we found that that in, in you know by being on the committee, I found text response, text messaging was so responsive and and so immediate knowledge you know right away your customer got the message they respond to you they, they're very interactive and engaging things that we wanted email to grow into but unfortunately email kind of lost its luster you know and um so our goal when i saw that was to develop a marketing system that would actually get read where messages would get read and actually would get taken so we spent the last uh, two, two years, 24, 25 months now developing a complete marketing system that mimics email with response rates of, of literally we're getting 99%, 97 to 99% open rates within the first three minutes. And our action taken rate, it's a wide number here, but it's 38 to 72%. And that's a significant uh, that's a significant statement to make because getting your customer to engage with you or take action with you, really as a business person, it doesn't matter whether you're in retail, online sales, whether you're a coach, whether you're an author, whatever you do, uh, really as a business person, as an entrepreneur, our job is to just engage with our customer, and this is the fastest, most effective way to do it, which is what inspired me to create. And thank goodness you did. Uh, and I remember you, you and I talked about this. How many? It was almost that at that mastermind, I believe. Yeah, eight that years was, ago, we yeah. talked about how, how mm, if we could only figure out how to do this mobile marketing, like yeah. this would be really cool. And there was a lot of stuff that was working, but not well at the time. And, and it, 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 I tell people it's 24 months in development, but the reality of it is it's truly been about eight years in development, at least in the back of my mind. Right, right. It. And it was also at the time cost prohibitive. Uh, Very costly, yes. Yeah, the text, the message, the text, and that's what we were going. There's got to be a better way. It's I mean, we were we were scouring WordPress plugins. I remember yeah, that, yeah, uh, looking yeah. for any. There's got to be a way. Come on, they do it with email. Why are we? <laughs> why are we so difficult? Why is it so technology challenged yeah. in this area? And finally, at last, the solution is in place. And um, I've used the system. Um, mm -hmm. Some of you will use it. All of you that are watching live will use it because you stay on long enough, you will have a chance to enter for that prize we mentioned earlier. And yeah. that will go through Jason's system. Yeah, well, we actually, yeah, we develop a system. This is what we use for our customers, actually. Uh, our customers and clients who have really big email lists uh, and they're not getting read often enough, they'll send literally a number of them out in a series to get them to engage. 
What we do is help convert those email lists into actual text messaging lists by saying, listen, we'd love to be able to communicate with you more effectively. Give us your cell phone number. We'll enter you into a prize, a, draw, a drawing or a raffle and or a, a giveaway item and then um, get their capture their, their cell phone number, their, their mobile number, and then we can text them relevant information. And, and our clients do that now. So I figured, hey, I'm going to be on this live. I've got this uh, I've got this five night, beautiful, gorgeous resort down in Mexico. Let's go ahead and give one away on this live as well. Love it. Yeah. And it's, it's a big, it's a total package. And this is not a pitch fest for powertexting.com. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't want it to be that. I'd like to give value. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I brought it up and yeah. it's, I'm not here to pitch powertexting.com. The, the concept is phenomenal. And I, I think it's of high value for those of you that want to actually get your messages read. You should consider it. I'll just be blunt about that. And, um, and the thing is, Brian, I'll, you know, to, to step aside from powertexting.com for a moment, uh, the idea is if you take a lesson away from the, the last few minutes, it's really not about power texting. It's about communicating effectively with your customer. Oh, yeah. If you engage, however that is, I just had a conversation today with a lady who runs a storage facility nearby and she communicates with every single one of her customers every single month. She calls them, text them or emails them. And if she does not get a reply back in email, that's when she moves to a call. And if she doesn't get that reply, then she texts them. So literally this woman takes the time and effort to, to engage her customers every single month, at least once a month. That's the beautiful thing. It's, she doesn't even use our system. It's not about power texting. It's about you should be engaging your customer. And, and however that works for you, however you're able to do that. I absolutely love it. and. You know, there, I've I've been in discussions with several entrepreneurs putting this show together. I've gotten yeah. uh, some interest, let's say, of other entrepreneurs that want to be on this show and discussing on the phone with them about, okay, how how's the best way for me to contact you to send you the information yeah. that I need you to fill out to get on the show? Guess what their answer was? It was one of two things every single time. It was either text me or text me. <laughs> it was Facebook Messenger or text oh, yeah. me. Yeah, exactly. Now consider this, you're public. Every one of us that's on Facebook is out there for anyone to find. So right. anyone can message us. When it comes to your phone though, that's not the same case. They must mm -hmm. know your phone number. That's so what right. do you think the odds are that they will pick up and read a text over a Facebook Messenger message? 99% uh, of the time within first three minutes actually is the industry statistic. <laughs> yeah. So. That's just one another way to, to clarify right. and illustrate. And, and every one of them says, you know, I don't even look at my email. I mean, they do yeah. on a rare occasion or they have an yeah. assistant filter through them. Uh, but uh, what Jason's saying is absolutely correct. Uh, I've witnessed it. I've experienced it as well. And well, those other prominent uh, entrepreneurs I've spoken to do the same thing. So, it, you know, it's you, all about modeling just, success. If I could just ask every single one of your listeners right now, it's a simple question. If I could ask two questions, actually, the first one is how many unread emails do you have? And the second question is how many unread text messages you have? And if your answer is how many unread emails, if you roll your eyes, if you can't answer it because you don't honestly know if it's 100, 1,000 or 10,000, you know your answer in terms of marketing. And, and when it comes down to your text messages, I'll tell you, unless you're in a meeting locked doors for an hour, your text messages is probably zero unread. Nice, love it. Love it, absolutely true too. All right, let's move on to- Move on. A topic that is pertinent to everyone, no matter if they're looking at this for business purposes or for personal um, advancement. And that is about the whole concept of maintaining a positive mindset. And that's something that you, Jason Nast, have mastered. And when it comes to maintaining that positive, productive, and successful mindset, what do you do personally on a regular basis to sustain this? Because let's face it, it's not that easy to be positive all the time. So it, what do you it do? Is it is difficult, and you know, I, I've I've posted several times in a variety of ways. I'll I'll, I'll tell people that, um, you know, there are days that I wake up and and I'm not in the best mood, but then I just decide to be awesome instead, and and that's pretty much what your choice is every single day. I wake up every single day with the idea that the day is a brand new day, a brand new start, and brand new things happen, and. 
it, I, there are days that things just don't go right for you. I get it. It happens to everybody. And sometimes you feel like that happens to you more often than it should. But the reality of it is, is that you choose the way to look at anything, anything. And every single day I take a new positive look at it. I, I look at how I, you know, the old saying is you, you, you take lemons, you make it into lemonade. <laughs> but um, that's really, it's a truth statement. You have to look at the way you can turn it into a positive mindset, a positive thing of some way. And uh, there's always a bright side. And uh, my daily routine is very simple. I do read a lot. I love, as a matter of fact, you, you brought up uh, Grant Cardone's 10X book. Uh, that's an, a, an amazing book, a great book, highly recommend it uh, as well. Um, I listen to a lot of books. I meditate. Uh, I put the right kind of influence on in terms of music, in terms of, of uh, work. When I work, I, I have my Google Mini here in the background. I'm always playing uh, uh, classical music or inspirational music for that. Um, love to get energized in the morning with some good old 70s kind of classic rock. And uh, and every once in a while, I'll dip into the 80s hip hop just to keep it real. <laughs> it, the idea, again, is to just influence yourself with the positive things in your life. Don't turn on the TV. Don't watch the news. God forbid, don't watch the news. Um, if you're looking to keep up to date on the cool happenings around town, then engage with your customers, engage with your clients, engage with businesses and ask them what's going on around town. 90% of the time, they'll never tell you about the, you know, the accident on the freeway or anything like that. They'll just talk to you about what's really going on in a good way. That's my motto. I stay away from actively stay away from negative news. And I really try to surround myself with the positive influence of, of, of my own area and then positive influential people as well. Like you. <laughs> and remember, you were a catalyst for that starting. For me, uh, changing from the negative nilly I used to be into a much more, you know what, it's just more fun to be positive, isn't it? It is. I mean, and, and, it, and you attract more positive people yes. when you are. I, I find it really <laughs> fascinating when I go into a large conference room. And, you know, you've got the guy over there who's kvetching about, oh, this thing's going to go on till six o'clock tonight. Oh, my <laughs> God. We got here at eight o'clock in the morning. He made a stand for that guy. There's like, you know, nobody around him. But when you're dancing, you're up, you're shouting. You know, uh, I've had several speakers. I've been speakers on their stage and, and actually the events that we met at. Um, I remember one time I was a speaker on the stage of a gentleman. I've been to his conference several times. He actually, we, we had a speaker table at the back of the room and he came at the break and he goes, it's so dead up front. I need you to sit up front for the next, you know, <laughs> next round. You got to bring some energy. And it, and you know, it's funny when you do that, everybody starts to move forward. Everybody gets involved in your circle and, and that's really what you want to do. And when you surround yourself with other people, positive people, man, boy, that circle just grows. It's just incredible. It's just like, you know, if you ever go to a trade show of any kind or even a seminar and they have those vendor tables around the edges. Yeah. yeah. You ever notice that if there are no no people at one table, but the next table over there's 10, which yeah. table are you going to go to? Yeah, you're going to go to the one that has 10 people yeah. or, or so the, the hot same, chick in the short skirt. Same thing with the positive mindset. They're going to come. <laughs> they're going to be coming to you as a magnet, as a magnet. And Sorry, that's I, I didn't mean to go there. I apologize. And that's what you are. You're a magnet. <laughs> well, I try to be. And that, that is, it's a magnet for positive energy. And you know what? Magnets are interesting. It's a great actual analogy. Magnets are, are great because you have a positive uh, side of that magnet and it attracts everything. The other side of it is going to push away and repel. And so hmm. you want to make sure you're the right side of that magnet. I love it. Great metaphor. Hey, uh, for those of you watching live, we have a lot of folks saying hello. Johnny Cash hey. is. Uh, hey, Johnny, some, man, great to hear from you. This guy, by the way, Johnny. Thumbs up. He did Johnny respond Cash. to you. He said lots of unread emails, no unread text messages. <laughs> uh, Marianne Ifua. I don't know if I hey, said that. Hey, Marianne. Right. Oh, she's amazing. Uh, uh, we, we actually did a conference together. Is that she's an amazing woman, powerful yeah. woman, brings a lot, a lot to the entrepreneurs here locally in Phoenix. So, Justin Larson. You. Justin Larson. Hey, Justin. Yeah, he's a great guy. Marketing web marketing guy has an amazing process, and uh, uh, 
Good guy. He's out in Mesa. Love that guy. Hey, great. I'm so glad you're part of this show. <laughs> we, we love it. Um, Johnny, by the way, you, uh, Brian, when you're in town, I got to introduce you to Johnny because Johnny Cash, this guy, if you want to know somebody, you need to know Johnny because he knows everybody. This guy's amazing. So now you guys are seeing in real time what Jason's all about. He's connecting everybody with everybody because that's the way he is 24 seven. I, I love kid it. You I not. Just, I love and it's it, always man. a positive connection. You know, it's always somebody that you know, you may not end up doing business with every single person, but at least, you know, if you didn't have someone like Jason that's out there, there are others, but if you didn't have that, who would you ever get to meet and maybe yeah. form a joint venture, maybe do business with? Uh, let's see, a couple more. Joel Ramondabon, my personal hey. friend. Yeah, anyway, I know um, Joel. Hey, Joel, I hope everything's going well with you. My heart goes out with you every day, brother. Yes. You're always in my prayers. Ditto, and uh, Miss Waller is on. Hey, all right. Is that Tracy Waller? Tracy Waller. All right, Tracy, hey. Yes, and Rhonda. Oh, see, we get excited now. I got all kinds of cool people out there. I love it. That's perfect. Rhonda as well. Hey, Rhonda. Nice, nice. So I just want to give a quick shout out. Uh, for those of you listening on the podcast, we're uh, looking at live comments coming across from Facebook and other venues. Uh, I'm Jill not Lauren that you Smith. Are. <laughs> Jill Lauren Smith says, Jason is awesome. Marianne Fua says, Hashtag Team Jason. I love yeah, it. Yeah, go Team J. All right. <laughs> Lots of loves and likes coming flying. Thank you all. Excellent. Thank you all. Unbelievable. Uh, not unbelievable. It's absolutely believable. Given it's perfect. The, given the the current person I'm sitting next to. Oh, yeah. I was going to say the caliber of the interviewer. <laughs> That's what I was going to say here. <laughs> man. Well, let's, get, let's get back to the topic of books real quick. Yeah. Oh, man. I love books. I literally read constantly. I have books everywhere around me. Uh, you should see my library. It's incredible. Yeah, so uh, I guess that answers the question I was about to ask. You're like a mind reader, too. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be an avid reader? Of course, the answer is yes. Of course, the answer is absolutely yes. And, and here's the thing. It, it's fascinating to me is that I read, I, I read a little bit of everything, and I also really enjoy audiobooks, and it's different. It's a different way to absorb things. So I've read books, then listened to them, and vice versa. Um, and, and everything... I'm looking around because I got I got books on my, my desk here and and this is one of my favorite magazines. I subscribe to certain specific magazines, so I have you know certain magazines I look I read. The idea is you want to constantly stimulate this this part right here. If you're not stimulating your brain at the end of the day, you're not going to have one left. And and, and <laughs> reading is the way to do it. It is absolutely the way to inspire your life, whether it's sci-fi fantasy whether it's fiction non-fiction it doesn't matter as long as you're constantly stimulating yourself reading that it, it will generate ideas generate ideas at, about your business and about your life that you've never even even it, you never thought about because you were never exposed to it and, and that's that's how you get it is through reading and again audiobooks is so amazing i know you you talked about audible um Brian, how you listen to audiobooks as well. It's a great way to just ingest information and to open yourself to new ideas. It's, 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 it's phenomenal. Absolutely. And one of the things I found, you know, I, I'm in the car quite a bit. Uh, a lot of us that yeah. live in California, that's our mode of getting around. <laughs> we don't jump into a subway or a tube in England. Uh, but either way, if you're traveling, what are you doing with that time? If you're listening to music and relaxing, that's good. There's nothing that's wrong good. with that. Yeah. Um, I started listening to Audible on every track, every segment of where I would drive. If it was a book I loved, I'd be sitting in the parking lot yeah. at my destination going, I don't want to stop. Waiting and for then, some breaking point. Like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, hit, hit the bookmark button a couple more times and then, okay, I got to go. Um, it turned out to be a, a, just a game changer. It, in fact, it's amazing because I actually became more alert while driving because my mind was active listening. It's, it doesn't sound it like does. that should happen, but it did. So it's actually safer to listen to books than it is to just drive and <laughs> listen to mind-numbing music that you've heard for the 30,000th time, the same song. Unless which, you're singing along, I agree 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have nothing against music. I myself will play music yeah. on occasion. There's, you know, it's not every single time. But I have read through so many more books driving in the car than yeah. any other place my car is my uh, rolling success library, I call it. And, and, and there's actually another point about that I find interesting is that, so I work out at, and when I go to the gym, I have this hour long motivation thing. It's really inspirational quotes, driving music, all kinds of uh, snippets taken from movies and things like this that inspire me or drive me. And um, 
I've listened to that same one hour motivation while I work out for years and, and it's really, really inspiring. I, I wake up to it in the morning and I work out to it. And what happened was I, I got so used to that energy of that music and those quotes that I felt like I had to work out to it. And then I started listening to audiobooks when I work out. And what's interesting about that is it's just as motivating and driving because I, I guess maybe because I've done it so many times, I still hear the, the driving music and the beats going on in the background, even though I'm listening to someone talk and, and, and tell a story. And um, so it's not just in the car. It's, it's when you're taking a walk. It's when you're at the gym. You know, anytime you carry your phone with you constantly, you might as well be learning from it you know yes absolutely agree could not agree more yeah i i would listen to it in the gym as well listening to books yeah. like on the treadmill where you don't really need to concentrate yeah. on flexing that muscle which i i train teach <clears throat> like you, can't, you want to concentrate on that muscle that you're working and think right. about it and not be listening to something that's going to distract you but when you're on the treadmill you know there's tvs usually at all these uh, gyms and you could listen to that or plug in and listen to it or watch yeah. it mindlessly or you could do something proactive for yourself to grow. I, I have to admit that that doesn't work for me because at my gym, they actually have a movie theater, a black, dark movie theater with all your treadmills and all that. And they play full feature motion pictures up on the big screen and surround sound Dolby. And it's just like you get lost in that. But you could literally watch Wonder Woman six times in a row just doing that. <laughs> They need, to issue, they need to issue treadmill blinders for you. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. What book are you reading right now? Uh, well, I'll show you here. It's actually right here at the edge of my table. So this one is, I just started it, just picked it up. It's called Shambhalaya, and it is The Sacred Path to the Warrior. So this is my latest book. It's a, a little bit more spiritual but very inspirational, very driven. So I am, uh, I'm excited about it. This is my, my new, my new read right here. Who's the author on that? Uh, this one is, I couldn't even pronounce it here. I'm going to show it to you cause I can't <laughs> pronounce that. All right. I'm not going to take a, a whack at that either. That's okay. I'll, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. You can post people, people like it. And I, I'll actually give you a, a summary of it too. Um, I just finished reading. Now this is a great book. I, I got two books. I want to tell you about one of them. I pardon my French right off the bat. Um, the name of the book is called Asshole. And <laughs> okay, I'm fading to black on that one. It, it, no, no, it, it, it is what it is. I, uh, it, it's about a guy who says, you know, how I made a fortune not caring about anybody and stuff. And of course, that's not the lesson in the book. Um, but it's a great book for really looking at, at how to approach different subjects with a different mindset, how to take yourself out of your normal personality and to change it, the view of it and, and act upon it. It's not really about being that. It's about it's about learning about the world and, and, and education. He's a marketing guy. He's a uh, he's actually a direct response marketing guy. And he's he's working on getting new accounts and he watches the different types of personalities and, and uses the different types of personalities to, to leverage his advantage. And it is really a good book. And another one is, um, uh, cash for tizing, which is, I don't have the, the authors of those cause I lent those books out already. Um, cash for tizing, which is really a great book, uh, again, about how to wordsmith, right? Copy, uh, around your advertising. So it's about weaving stories into your advertising. It's pretty good. Nice, nice. Yeah, no, we've gotten comments, people that are uh, asking, and you're, 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 ask, you're answering the questions as we go. What's your favorite uh, personal development book you've read lately? Um, others are saying, my, I'll check it out. Second yeah, my I've favorite of, of all time, though, my favorite of all time, I have two that are kind of my go-to. I Obviously, Think and Grow Rich is by far the absolute best personal development book you will ever read 100 times plus. This is one that you want to read over and over again. Now, me personally, it is a tough book to read, I have to admit. So I like to listen to that book now. I have read it several times, but I like to listen to that book now. Um, another one is my mentor, a friend of mine. I've uh, worked with him. He's a terrific man. He's retired now. Uh, T. Harbecker's Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. That is another go-to book. I have probably five copies in my, my library, which I gift out often because it is such a good book. It's about the psychology of wealth. And it's not the psychology of wealth in terms of dollars. It's about like thinking grow riches. It's not about just rich in terms of financial riches. It's about 
wealth in your life and your prosperity, health, wealth uh, in, in your your relationships and everything. So those two are my go to books. Um, I could list off 10 more that I absolutely love rereading over and over again. <laughs> but those are my two go to's. Nice. And, <clears throat> and by the way, Grant Cardone, anything. Just let's say Grant Cardone, anything, and it, it's, you're going to love it. I promise you, you'll love it. As and he's an in-your-face guy, though. He is. He, he will tell you. Uh, one of my favorite things that Grant Cardone said, I think this was from 10X, by the way. Um, he talked about marketing. He talked about email marketing. He said, you know, he, he was emailing it occasionally, and he, he decided to send out, like, another email, like, an, like, two days after his first one out. And someone said, oh, my God, we can't do that. They'll unsubscribe. And he figures his marketing uh, – uh, ploy or tactic is email them until they quit you or they buy something from you. Yep. Because if they're quitting you, it's because they were never going to buy you. You don't want them on your list and you want to get rid of them quick. You want to get rid of them as quick as possible. But if you're providing valuable content, then that person's going to start reading your stuff because it's valuable. And that's and like, don't ginger foot around it. You know, Get in their face and tell them, hey, you delete me, please. God, unsubscribe from me if you don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that about him. Yeah, it was a huge, uh, a definite good lesson. It's almost, it, yeah. it's, it goes hand in hand with, you know, if you have a customer that's, or a potential customer that you foresee is going to be a suck on your business oh, and yeah, take yeah. your time, uh, even if initially they, are, they seem okay, but then later they don't, fire them and fire, fire them quickly yeah, yeah. get them yep. out of your your life and out of your funnel so that they're no longer taking your time from you and it's a similar concept where grant cardone says yeah carpet bomb email text do everything you can and those that want to stick with you are the ones that were meant to so that's it's okay right. he actually is happy to see all the opt-outs because that's saving his himself a lot of time and anguish a lot of time so yeah i agree 100 percent. it's great it's great because you're never going to please everybody and that's what we all want to do right as human yeah. beings we want to please everybody we get one negative comment we're like oh i better stop doing that it's like no that's a good sign that you're weeding out the garden you're getting out the there, weeds there's a there's a a, a great uh, girl a friend of mine on facebook she's quite amazing and uh her husband and her uh, it's just a, the most really when i see these two i say to myself that's the kind of relationship that everybody hopes for and she uh posted some pictures out there uh, very loving pictures her her husband was taken of her and, and and they were sexy poses and and he's gushing about how he's the luckiest guy in the world anyway some guy out there some some loser guy out there is hating on her and i'm just like wow you know how do you do that how do you how do you hate on somebody you don't even know i mean gosh bless her push her forward in life because she's actually taken you know she's proud of who she is all you know and and proud of, of her relationship and uh, so i had a texted her just like maybe an hour before this show. And I'm like, Oh, my God, you know, it's so incredible what you're doing. I'm so just happy and proud that you're out there. And literally, I, I am envious of I, I'm not envious, I guess, I said I was envious of her relationship. But really, what it is, is that I'm joyous about her relationship with her her husband. And, uh, and he texts me back. He's like, he thinks, dude, <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, it's like, it's important to, to prop yeah. people up like that and, and to get rid of those haters, man. I, I told her also, I said, listen, if you don't have haters, you're not trying hard enough. You know, <laughs> you you're them. absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. You're gone, you know? Having haters is a sign of success. That's right. right? That's right. You're doing I mean, something right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, talking about haters, let's move on to another topic um, yeah. where, you know, we love every one of us. All humans love to win. Yeah, we're winners. Yeah, win, we like win, to win yeah. arguments. We like to win our point of view. We like to win where we're going to go to lunch or dinner. We want to win at all times. And if we don't, there's that hint of failure and like, <sighs> I didn't succeed. And oh, it can wow. knock you backward, often yeah. does. Yeah. And I know, I know what your attitude is about this, but I want everyone else to hear what it is about, you know, what happens when you fail, Jason? I, we all fail. And so yeah. I'm just being straight up. What happens uh, when you fail? Like, what have been some of your failures? And then what have you learned from those failures? I, I've had many. I mean, let, let's face it. I've had many failures. And um, uh, before we get to what my failures were, uh, I'll talk about the greatest lessons I ever learned from failures. And that is, um, this is actually, I, I learned this 
not only reading, but being part of Think and Grow Rich workshops and, and, and part of the Napoleon Hill Foundation and working with some of the people who actually authors for the new Napoleon Hill Foundation. And what I learned is this, if we learn from success, anybody that's ever read Think and Grow Rich would be incredibly wealthy beyond their wildest dreams in personal relationships and in, in, in intimacy, in health, in, in, in finances, because the secrets are all there in that book. We don't learn as well from success as we learn from failure. So I'm actually grateful for every single failure I've had because that gets me that much more information, that much closer to the ultimate successes that I've had. And uh, I've had many failures over my time and, and, um, and they include business failures and personal failures. I mean, every single person on this live right now and listening after the fact, you, you can look back at your life and I'll just say, I'll, I'll be blunt. Even if you're, even if you married your high school sweetheart, you probably had a relationship failure in your lifetime. And, and that is either a friendship that just dissolved or got torn apart or, or it's a business relationship that just didn't work or was clash with it. And, and I'm grateful for every single one of those because I learned something from it. So the key is not being afraid to fail. The, the real key to success is, is, is be willing to fail, but be afraid of not learning your lesson. That, that, to me, that's the most important part. And, um, you know, I've had, I've had several business failures. We, we have a product that we developed for As Seen on TV. It was, a, it was an amazing product, uh, did very well. Uh, no one believed in it. We were tenacious. We were, we were going to make sure that people saw this product. It, it's uh, known today you can actually find it everywhere. Um, the Push Up Pro. It, it's the Push Up Pro, um, the Ultimate Push Up. We have about five or six different names for it. But that device went on to sell 40 million in, in, in sales and revenue. And we developed other products after that and around that. And some of those products still aren't out. I remember one of the uh, one of the products that I was absolutely confident was going to succeed. It was like, oh my god, this is like brilliant! And it was one called uh, Body Jazzle, and it was a, a gem, Swarovski gems that you actually uh, we developed this really cool um, hypoallergenic glue that you attach these these gems to your body. And they sparkled and they lit up when you went into a, a club or, or, or the bar like that, man, they sparkled and shine in the lights when you're dancing. It was phenomenal and it was a great product, but it didn't sell. And we put a lot of money, effort and time into that. It didn't sell. Did I, did I, was I discouraged? I said, oh, I'm never going to do that again. Thank God I, I didn't because we created products that generated hundreds or not hundreds, but millions of dollars and tens of million dollars as a, as a result of saying, okay, what did we learn on that? Who did we market it to? We did the wrong marketing. We targeted it differently. It's about learning from your mistakes and, and learning from your failures. And a failure, by the way, doesn't always result in your mistake. Um, right. We have a follow-up product to that push-up uh, pro and it's called the push-up max. And it is a really cool product. And we just don't release it yet because the timing is not right. It's the 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 world isn't ready for a harder push up product, you know? <laughs> and um, and there's a few small people who are you know a small segment that's that's ready for it, but the world is not ready for it. We've kind of inundated people with push up products for too many years. So um, sometimes you're absolutely right but your product fails because it's not the right time. It's not the right market. It's not the right demographic. So um, whether it's personal relationship, whether it's business, whatever your failure, I say embrace that failure. Be proud of it. I, I, I've i stood in, on stage and, and very, very humbled in front of people saying, listen, you know, I did this and it, it didn't work. <laughs> It just didn't work. Um, I can tell you, honestly, that was a little bit of a pitch, but my last email campaign did not work at all. Like I got like, I got like less than the industry standard reads and open rates and that's terrible. And I'm like, oh, uh, but that inspired me to create a texting service. So, you know, in that failure, there's brilliance and you just have to look for it. And I think that there's one word that really sums up what you just dis described and that is that came to my mind anyway uh -huh. and that is resilience. resilience 
Resilience, you know, yeah. Is, you know, we've learned and we've been taught through all the successful people in our lives, you and I both, Jason, that, you know, it's not about not failing. It's about failing as fast as you possibly can. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. about taking action over and over and over without going through analysis or paralysis by analysis where too many of us are trying to make it perfect before we go on. Uh, I want to make this show perfect every time before we go on. And as you know, Jason, as we were preparing for the show, there were little <laughs> technical glitches happening yeah. and I was not a happy camper in a positive okay. way, of course. But <laughs> you know, the beautiful and, thing and, and is, by, is the resilience. The way, another... you, you just, you get knocked off the horse, you get back up. You get knocked off the horse, you get back up. I mean, how many people, like Abraham Lincoln, how many times did he run for president? I don't remember I don't the exact know. number, but it was an <laughs> unreal number before he yeah. actually won. It's That's crazy. Good. Or for office, it, I should say, it, for government. I, uh, and by the way, another great book comes to mind as you're speaking, and it's called Go For No. I don't know the author. I apologize. I, I wish I had my books sitting right here. They're, they're over there. I'd have to leave out a camera view. But um, Go For No, great book. Look it up. It's a small book. You can read it literally in one sitting. Um, and uh and and it's a great book and and it's about look don't worry about getting the yes the yes will come go and get that no as fast as possible get that what people perceive as failure <laughs> as quick as possible yeah i was just thinking we could be here all night with books i'm thinking the go-getter it was similar the go-getter yeah, exactly <laughs> sorry we, we really could talk about books all night it's, it's and maybe that, we and should. By the way, that's not a bad thing maybe we should you know <laughs> I mean, it's the highest value. It is what, yes. think about this. Think about bang for buck. How much does yeah. a book cost? Let's, oh, let's yeah. even step back from that. Can you even read one for free? Oh, I think, yeah. I, I think they still have those things called libraries uh, I have, somewhere. I have my books from the library right here. Matter yeah. of fact, I, I, I have a note that I have to take it back today. So. One of the most <laughs> valuable things that you could do for yourself for your own growth in both business and personal is to read and read valuable books. So uh, one recommendation is to reach out to people like Jason and myself and say, what are the books you'd recommend to do X, Y, Z to help me in this area? And if we don't know, we'll find out because we, you know, Jason's far more connected than I am. But between us, we're very well connected. And you well, can here's the brilliant part about it, Brian, is that is the, the, the cool part about it is, is that for every connection I have, it means that you have them as well, because you could take whatever connections you have and you can multiply them by ex existentially by all your friends, because that's the beauty of this kind of a recommendation. And, and your bookmarks, by the way, how brilliant is that? People can go right into your bookmark page and just go, look, I want to know what's worth reading. So I'll find out from somebody else what they've read and recommend. And that's that you make it easy, like they have to call or text me, you, they just go to their webpage. <laughs> so and that's the, brilliant. The story on there was was phenomenal. It was a CEO of a company and I'm not gonna say the whole thing, but he, he told me many, many years ago that that was the secret, that was the key. He said see, if, yeah. if, if people only knew, if all they just did was read. read and yeah. I still folded my arms in defiance for years after that and did not <laughs> heed his advice. And then I kept getting told by mentor after mentor and successful entrepreneur after successful yeah. entrepreneur. And <laughs> yeah. finally, finally, actually the one who really put me over the edge is my other very good friend and mentor, Mel Cutler. That's Mel Cutler, I, really, I was just thinking about Mel, yeah. That's yeah. when I dedicated myself to say, you know what, this guy reads and he's successful and I want what he has, so I'm gonna model success. And that's all uh -huh. you need to do. Everyone out there listening, model yep. success. Exactly. Model and, 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 is a fancy word for copy. And most of us don't want to do that because in elementary school, could we copy? And you and I, Jason, were probably old enough to where they actually would physically whack you if they cut you. Cap the ruler, copy. yeah. <laughs> so it's a negative. It's a negative anchor. Yeah. Well, as you become an adult, that's what you need to do. You need to do is it. copy, yeah. is model. Those are successful. And people like mm -hmm. Jason, myself, that's what we're opening our, you know, most successful people, especially the ones we know because of the connection yeah. circles we're in, will do the same thing. You open just up need to their show hearts, up, provide up value their, and ask. Yeah. yeah, just ask the question. That's, by the way, that is commonly the biggest failure right there. People don't ask. They don't ask for help when they need it. They they don't ask questions. And, and there, you know, there's an old saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question. And that's not necessarily true. But the, the dumbest question of all is the one that doesn't get asked. Mm, so um, agree. It, and I've seen it all the time. You know, I know people who are struggling in their businesses and, and, and it's not a sale. I'm not going to try to sell everybody on what I do, but, but they could ask me like, Hey, what would you do in this circumstance? And, um, 
and and if I have the answer, then I I just tell people like I, here you know uh, great that's a great example it just happened too is really really cool um, this lady and and I'm gonna uh, Elisa it's her name Elisa she runs a really cool company called uh, Sherwood Adventures and she does traveling archery party kind of things it's like playing dodgeball with with a bow and arrow <laughs> and she has it's really cool it's really cool. And I was like, hey, you know, I just said, I just looked at her website. I did a couple things and I went over to her. I said, hey, I, I got to tell you, you could do this, 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 and this. And by the way, you know, just text me and I'll send you this, this document over. It'll tell you how to rank in Google and get your website, you know, on, on Google search and all this sort of stuff. And the whole time you could see her kind of like standing back like, okay, he's going to sell me something. What she didn't realize is that I literally gave her the keys all of the training, all of the links she's going to need, every single piece of the information that I would normally like charge people hundreds of dollars to do, I literally gave it to her. And and she's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, well, because I know it'll help you. <laughs> like, simple. And, and there you it. go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the essence of Jason Nast. And I'm not saying that kiddingly. I'm saying that absolutely truthfully and sincerely. Uh, he is fast. a man that loves to help people. Um, and the thing is, when you go to ask people a question, someone who's successful, don't go in expecting to get something for nothing. That's a mistake no. many others make. You know, it's like, oh, they won't even help me. It's like, well, their time is very valuable. Yeah. Offer them something of service in return. It doesn't have to be money. How about no. offer to, if they do seminars? I've done this, and Jason, you've done this, where yeah. you make a you make a connection with the the speaker, the main speaker, and say, "Look, is there any way I can help you? I will I will run microphones for you. Yeah. I will collect forms for you. Is there Dressing anything 70s, I can help you with?" Hip hop, disco kind of uniforms and run down the center. <laughs> of the yes, aisle. <laughs> did some crazy things, and they were crazy fun and crazy. Right, that's that's right. That guy, he, yeah. he did that. <laughs> Yes, and we have footage to prove it. We have we have pictures to prove it. That's right. That was, you know, and that's it. You just show up, just show, show up, up yeah. and over and over. The thing is, though, is to bring value. Do some research on the individual. Mm -hmm. Find yeah. out uh, maybe they are a champion of a charitable organization. Offer yeah. to help maybe with your time. Yeah, and, well, and, and really go at the heartstrings because you know yeah. they're not in. They are not. This conception that people are successful who are rich are all about money is so false. So it's false. So false. They want to help people. That's the and, bottom line, and they're giving value. The reason they are successful and wealthy is because they gave value they and are value. serving others. It's beautiful. And that is key right there. Uh, you know, I I, I will uh, I will charge for a class, a training class. I'll, I, I'll one particular class I'm thinking of. I charge eight hundred dollars for, but I have. I have someone come to me and say, I really need this class and, and um, you know, I, I, I want to be part of it. How do I help you? They volunteer their time and, and they'll be part of that class because I value time way more than money. It, it, it's really important that if someone's willing to do the work, uh, that to me is what I'm really all about. You know, I mean, we have to eat at the end of the day, but... <laughs> but really it's about time, Amen, you know, invest brother. your time. If you don't have the money, your time is worth more than the cash you have in your pocket. I that promise, is, no matter how much you have in your pocket. That is so true. Time is, is the mother of all value, really. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get that back. I'm, I, I, gone. I need to catchphrase that. I need to trademark that. Um, <laughs> no one else steal that that's listening. Ken Spawn, yeah. thumbs up. Marianne is uh, hey, Ken. all over it. I love it. Anthony Gary came by and wanted to hear Jason Nast. Tell Jason awesome. to check his email tomorrow. I'm sure you'll see all these comments later. Okay, um, but, but Anthony, the best way to reach me is text me. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that was nice. A little, <laughs> a little underhanded. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. But see, you know what? Coming from someone like, like Jason, in all honesty, I love that. That, does, that bothers me this much. In fact, I'm happy for him, <laughs> and I want to help. And that's what I, one of the purposes of this show, just to be transparent, yeah. was for me to have a platform to promote people like Jason. And so well, this is being live streamed on seven different platforms simultaneously seven. right now. Uh, several on Facebook, there's on Periscope, YouTube Live, Twitch, Stream.me, uh, there's more, Mixer, and, and when it's done, it's going on podcast. And so yeah. the reach is going to be phenomenal. 
uh, eventually, if not right now. I mean, we're getting a lot of good comments. And yeah. we're going to build a following, going to have more phenomenal people like Jason. Uh, we'll have Jason on another time because I know he's going to have more value to bring. Like, you could sit and talk to Jason for a couple of months and only get about a tenth of his knowledge. It's phenomenal. And, and we love telling stories. So that that's the fun <laughs> part about it. It's, it, it. You know, they say facts tell, but stories sell. You know, we, we, we tell stories. It's not about selling you a product. It's about selling you life. It's about selling you lifestyle. It's about selling you imagery. And, and oh, man, it's... It's fun. It, that you hit you hit the nail on the head. Fun. It's fun. That yeah. is something that you and I every time we get together, we have fun. Went we to do Long have Beach fun. Grand Prix time, together. Yeah. That was a blast. I mean, we just have a great time. And yeah, so so Jason is somebody. He's really my friend. Like not not just a Facebook friend. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. have spent time together. <laughs> it's a new definition of friendship. I'm like what? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you've come to California. My gosh, this guy flew yeah, okay. flew to California for a two hour meetup that I was doing. It that was your mind. first one. That blew was, that your my first? Mind. Yeah, first one I ran for yeah. myself. That's right, yeah. And I was just, un I could not believe it. When he walks through the door, he told me he was doing it, but I was like, are you kidding? This is, what an amazing friend. Hey, so you thank you for your being friends, who you are. You gotta be there for him. You're an amazing guy. Um, Here, here's the way I looked at it is I knew, I mean, we, I had no idea how much you promoted it and, and what you were doing with it or anything like that. But I knew one thing for sure. You would not be in that room alone no matter what. Uh, oh, man. And I brought a guest. You remember? Did? And she won. Tracy, she's on. Yes, That's right. She's watching. She Tracy, won. She, she won the gift of the day. That was awesome. <laughs> Speaking of winning, stick on for those of you that are still That's watching. Right. We have a giveaway at the end of this. Uh, for those of you that didn't catch it in the beginning, let me just briefly recap that, and then we'll move on. We do have some time. By the way, uh, I want, I normally was going to schedule these for an hour, but as long as you are getting value uh, on online that you're watching, if you're watching okay. live right now, give us some thumbs up and say, yeah, we're getting value. Please continue, because we have more to cover if you'd like us to. Or we can just say, well, we're done, and we'll give away the prize, which I know a lot of you want. <laughs> a lot of people but want the prize. value, then prize, how would that be? Let there us know. Go. Give us some uh, comments back as I pull up. Some love and likes. So what we're going to do on on uh, Jason's Nickel uh, from PowerTexting.com, his company, uh, those of you that stay on live, yeah, Tracy's saying it was awesome. It was. <laughs> those of you that stay on live to the end, we're going to show you how you can win, how you can win a, a complimentary vacation stay at a five-star luxury resort in Mexico. Yes. And you will also get $250 of 30-day tech services. It's an opt-in list conversion package. I'm using his system, it's phenomenal. In fact, I this is a funny story. I used it to automatically text him today, right before the show. <laughs> and he's like probably shaking his head, gosh, dang it, no, Brian, stop it awesome. already. Well, I hope that I hope this is. By the way, a lot of the people who are on today, I hope that they're on because they received a text message from me, and that's exactly what it's for. It's to help help get the word out that you're doing something and 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 that you're you're responsive to it, and that's the key. We love it. And by the way, um, you know, with, with that giveaway, that 30 days of texting service that that we're offering, I also want to let you know that comes with me. It, it, it comes with a real you're going to get me and I will help you through the process of writing your campaigns or your texts or your bulks or, and how to convert things. You get all that coaching. That's all part of our package. Um, one of the things when, um, when I was developing this and, and I'm working, uh, Rhonda, by the way, works with me on this as well. We really wanted to kind of create a local thing where we got to know our customers, not, not just like this, you know, blind kind of national, international type sales that I've done in the past, it's really been uh, nameless and faceless. We want to know every single one of our customers personally. So you, you will be in touch with me directly to help write that campaign, write your responders, your autoresponders, and getting it all set up. You're never alone in this process. And that's really important to know. Okay, I didn't even know that was part of it personally, and that just raised the bar to in a phenomenal value. I don't even know what dollar amount you'd put to both the vacation plus the texting service and the complimentary coaching. This is all a giveaway, so just stick around to the end. Good. Yeah, it's we, all, it's I promise all. we won't go more than uh, I don't know five or seven minutes, hours, fifteen, two hours. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll, we'll wrap it up soon. Just hang yeah. with us, and we'll uh, announce how you can. You know what? I'm feeling like. 
I'm feeling like a giver right now. How about we just show them how to do it right now, and I'll do it. How again about the, now? Give, let's give some away right now. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll up the ante, and I'll, I'll I'll do two. I'll do two. I'll do one in Vegas and 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 one in Mexico. So right now, why don't you give away the Vegas? That's that's going to be three nights. All right. Three nights in Vegas will happen right now. I know you're not you don't you're not prepared for that because you don't have like slides for the that's Vegas right. giveaway. But uh, but I'll, I'll give away three nights in Vegas at the Westgate Resort. It's beautiful. Uh, it's it, if you've ever been to Vegas, the Westgate. It's right over by the convention center. Um, we'll give away three nights there first, and then right. again we'll give away the five, gotcha. night, five nights I in see. Mexico. Good, good. So here it is. I'm going to bring up the information on screen, and I will verbally say it for those of you uh, that aren't able Listen. to see. Oops, wrong one. It's time Ooh, hey, for the guest expert like spotlight. <laughs> Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. Let that finish up. There we go. The there right screen. Go. Yes, a lot of buttons. Oh, it just went away. You're right. We're having fun. Can't even give it away. Look at that. That's okay. There you go. So, so for those of you uh, to enter, just there's two ways. You can go to a website, and there's an opt-in form there. You just click on it. So you can go to reachyourpeakllc.com forward slash vacation. And the vacation is all lowercase, no caps. Or if you are on a phone and it would be easier for you to use your phone, simply text the word PEAK, that's P-E-A-K, to 661-535-1624. Very important, once you do that, it will automatically ask you also for your email address. So be sure to also type that in because that is how you officially qualify, is to provide that. Again, both of these end up going through powertexting.com system. So now you can actually uh, experience it firsthand from an end user standpoint. And I gotta tell you, under the hood, this is one amazing, amazing system. So there you go, we can continue on. Let me bring Jason back over with me. Hey, thank you for that. By the way, Brian, so uh, real quick on that subject, two things. Um, one, I love what you're doing here and bringing value to people to through this show and, and not, you know, and not, not charging for it and not, not doing that whole, uh, if you'd let me do it, if, and this is an offer I'm making live, so if you'd let me do it, what I'd like to do is I'd like to sponsor your show going forward for, for the rest of the year and and provide to you a vacation for every single show that you do um mm. to give that away every single show you do in the future if you allow it done. if you allow it if not then uh, done. i got my promotion out anyway whatever done <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much so appreciate and again another example giving guy um again if you are not familiar with Jason and you're meeting him for the first time, don't just walk up to him and saying, hey, I see you give away stuff to everybody. Can you give me something? Uh, don't will. do that. Just, just come will. to him with <laughs> respect. Get a big smile and say, Jason, everybody in life has struggles in different areas. I don't care how successful you are. In fact, the more successful you become, the more issues you end up having. It's just the way it happens. Jason, what, what one area, if I could help you, could I help you in? Come up with that instead of, uh, hey, come give me, help me. Give first and then uh, watch what happens, especially yeah. with Jason. He'll go, oh, okay, and he'll, give you the, he'll give you the moon. And you, might, and you might be surprised, it might not even be for me. I might ask you to help somebody else, somebody and else who needs the help, because that's, that's really how we, you know, as Napoleon Hill says, if, if, you, uh, if you give enough people what they want, you're bound to get what you need in return. Yeah. So. Love it, love it, love it. And I love you, brother, and I mean it. I do, I love you, I know. So uh, here, oh, this is a this one can go right between the eyes. This is a question <laughs> I love. Uh, a lot of people will go to a great extents to become successful, so much so that they might even they might even tempt going out of their window of their own values and doing things that they probably yeah. shouldn't do. And I think, without saying what those things are, I think everyone understands what that means. Yeah. Uh, going above and beyond and what they should do, uh, selling out, selling out to become successful. How far are you, Jason, willing to go to succeed? But first, I think it's important to frame, how, first, how do you define success? And then let us all know how far you're willing to go to succeed. Well, you, uh, there, there's different rules of thought on that, but I, I, I'll, I'll actually kind of back up in time a little bit on that. And, and um, 
when we were first, we, uh, I, I tend to always involve other people in my projects. So I just let you know that up front. Uh, so my partners at that time were Paul Cannon and Andreas Hesse, and he's in Canada. Paul was in Florida. I was in California. So we're really working remote, trying to figure things out. And, and we had this discussion. We had this very discussion, like, what are we willing? Because we will, all our goal was was to make money. That's what we, we just want to make money. How are we going to make money? How are we going to make the most amount of money with the least amount of effort in the fastest time? And when we started that project, that you know, there's a lot of ways you can make money and break the law. There's a lot of ways you can make money and bend the law. There's a lot of ways you can make money and maybe not be morally and ethically sound. And, uh, and if you're truly looking to make the most amount of money, the fastest with the least amount of effort, some of those things may be tempting to people. We agreed right off the bat that we would always remain with, within our integrity on every single project we did, but we wanted more than that. And so we developed a checklist of things like, you know, is it marketable? Is it trendy? You know, we kind of have all these things and there was nothing, you know, can we remain in integrity? Can we get, you know, will it fall into our moral compass and things like this? And so every single project that we take on since then, and, and I've taken on since then, has to meet all of these requirements, but there was just still something lacking. We, we couldn't define it. So we created a word. And the word that we created was cellular. It had to hit you on a cellular level. It had to, it had to make your soul fill with joy and, and become pure in that sense. If, if your soul was fulfilled by it, then it was a project worth taking on. Now, you might ask yourself, like, how is a, a fitness product filling you cellular? Well, we were contributing to people's health. We were contributing to people's well-being. How does text marketing fill you cellularly? Well, because we have people out there that have very important messages that are not getting read, so they're getting read. It's not about justifying it. It's more about, like, thinking about it from a... a a position of how do you really engage people and make them and bring that that bear your soul to them and and know it's going to still be safe and protected and and feel good and so cellular is our checklist word we have to look at it as if it if it meets the cellular test then it's then it's definitely something to do um how far am i willing to go i'll literally go to the ends of the earth for success but I won't hurt people along the way. I'll never compromise my integrity. And I will always have to check off that cellular box. If it doesn't hit that box, it, it doesn't happen for me. I love it. I love it. And I believe you when you say you will go to the ends of the earth. Oh, yeah. As long as it doesn't, you know, really bring down your integrity. If it, because, if it doesn't compromise my moral compass, my yes. standards, my integrity, and again, it has to hit me on that cellular level. I have to be able to say, this is a good thing for people overall. I mean, think about what I know about you and how far you go to do even the smaller things. And I don't mean this to say that it's small, but that, that example earlier, you flew to huh? support a friend. Yeah. You flew yeah. for a two hour meetup and then you flew back. Flew home, yeah. <laughs> Like, well, wow. I, I would, I'm, I'm looking at all of you out there right now watching, and I'll just ask the question is, would, wouldn't you do that for your friend? I hope your answer is yes. And, and, and maybe you're not financially able to do it at the time, but that doesn't mean you can't be there in heart and spirit and, and, and live online you know, like this. I mean, there's ways to be there for your friends no matter what it takes. And that's, that's what I think is important. No matter what it takes, you got to stand up for your friends. And I think it, that takes you know, the business part and the success and the connections to the next level is yeah. establishing bona fide relationships. Yeah. Um, this is not, so if I was not involved in business and Jason wasn't involved in business, I know we'd still be friends. I know it. We would be. I know it. Absolutely. There's just no doubt. We have too and much in common. <laughs> we have this entrepreneurial connection, which, which kind of ignited the, the fire between us. But the reality of it is, is that there's, again, does it hit you on a cellular level? Does this man fill my soul every time we meet, we, we get together? 
it, it's like, oh, it's just so uplifting. It, it's it's like literally just hanging out with this guy is like going to a spiritual revival. Man, you just walk away like <laughs> full of energy and ready to go. Uh, you know, it, it is. It, it, I mean, I love it. you came to Scottsdale. We, we hung out a couple of days. Man, it was so powerful. It was such a great time, you know. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I you're right. Our friendship, it, it, it knows no bounds. That's right. <laughs> and that's not to say that you need to be that solid of a friend with everyone you meet and every connection you make. But it just it's, it's a genuine genuineness about it that um, as long as you have a relationship um, like with Mel Cutler, he, he's become a very dear friend of mine very quickly. And I loved helping him and his wife, Kate, and uh, mm -hmm. in any way I could at any time. If they had a personal issue, uh, they were probably a three hour drive uh, with traffic. I would, in a heartbeat, if they, had, if they had a need, I would, I would be there. Uh, it didn't matter what I was going, what was going on. If I was busy, if I was talking to a client, I'm done. I, friends and family and the people you love are more important than you everything know, I, else. So I literally say that every single day. There's a time that I I run into somebody or or you know um, my people who work for me. I uh, Mary uh, Mary may be watching. I don't know, but Mary absolutely love her she is my assistant she does everything for me and there are times when you know she's got to take off and she's got to take care of her kids and yeah. and 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 she knows because of the long time we've been working right. together she knows my view always a hundred percent across the board is family first family first you have to take care of your family first you know communicate with your boss let them know hey i i gotta step <laughs> out but I never question why, you know, literally I never question why. After she gets back, she says, you know, hey, this is the thing. And I'm always like, hey, you know my feeling, family first, family first, yeah. always. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That makes it that much easier to be in a work environment with you to know that you have their back. And that's, always. I don't know, I just think that should be a characteristic of anyone who has yeah. a team. <laughs> it just seems, it seems natural and it just seems default. <laughs> why yeah. be anywhere else, other way? Yeah. All right, let's let's bring this home. Okay, let's bring this home. We've been on for almost an uh, hour and fifteen minutes. We're getting close. I appreciate you uh, first of all for taking this time to not only be on the show to help me because I know that's your heart, but your heart's even bigger than that. You want to help all the people that are watching either live or listening later on podcast or watching later on recording. Uh, appreciate you, my brother. But I want to know this this one. I'm really curious about your answer to this one. Oh, okay. And and the thing is, it's going to be challenging for you because you're very uh, you love to be expressive and really give the most you can. And so you that wanna, can't you be done in one word. Five words or less. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's the thing. Uh, I don't know how you knew that, but it's going to be less. It's going to be less in one word, Jason. Oh. You ready? Yeah. In one word, characterize your life as an entrepreneur. One word. I, I one word would be blessed. Mm. Truly blessed. Um, now it can't be just one word; it has to be explained, right? And so, um, blessed. My mother, when I was very young, my mother ta told me, and and she said, "You can be anything you want, but you have to promise me." that you'll be the best at it. You'll do the best you can. Whatever you decide to do, you will always work hard to be the best you can at that job or that position. Now, me as a little kid, I you know, people hear something they 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 hear it differently. Two two people can hear the same exact statement and 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 totally interpret it differently. I always interpreted that as in you have to be happy in what you're doing you have to be passionate about what you're doing because that in my opinion if you're happy and you're passionate then you always will do your best so that's how i interpret it so because of my upbringing with my mother who was very inspirational to me telling me constantly do anything you want just just promise me you'll be the best you can at it uh, i interpret it as and in, in follow my dreams and 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 that so i truly am blessed as an entrepreneur i started as an entrepreneur when i was with 12 years old and um, i started my first business i had my first employee when i was 13 years old i had five employees by the time i was 14 years old so yeah i i've just been blessed to have a supportive family i've been blessed to have supportive people in my life 
And I've been blessed to uh, always be encouraged to be the best I can and to do the best I can. So that's my word. Blessed. Mm. Now, I don't know. That was probably the perfect answer. I don't know if there is one, but mm. but coming from you, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, it's you. genuine. It's right from the heart. I love you, brother. I appreciate I you. you. Too, Let's give the folks out there that information. So this time it will be for the Mexican uh, resort. In Mexico? Mexican, so we're going to be giving away a five night resort stay. It's a uh, it's a complimentary stay at five at a resort in Mexico. I'm actually going myself, going going down to Rocky Point, uh, Puerto Penasca, and uh, it's a gorgeous resort. I'm taking my daughter, and I'd love to have you guys come out and uh, you can be there when I'm there, or you can be there when on your own, and uh, it's a great thing. So there's a text peak P E A K to six six one. Five three five one six two four. You'll get the links that way, or drop on onto the website, reachyourpeakllc.com slash vacation. Either way to enter, go ahead and enter now. And uh, uh, you know, Brian, it's up to you how you're going to give this away or when you're going to do it. But I have one favor to ask, and that is, of course, once you win, if you're not already friends with Brian Kelly, by the way, you, you you're going to be able to reach out to him. Uh, through social media if you're please when you win i i want to see that i want you to tag i want you to hashtag reach your peak and i, I want you to share the fact that you won and more importantly when you're on vacation you got to come back you got to come back and share your experience and take some pictures and and, and, and share it with everybody because because uh, that's we, how we help each other by we helping do. you you need to help them spread the word oh did you hear that guess what it's time it's time that was in the background. I'm bringing up powertexting.com, and so that was oh, a chat it, message you, that came in. Are you hearing ding? <laughs> and we have one, two, three, four, five. Gene Miller, don't forget to supply your email address. All right, email address. You should have gotten a text that asked you to do that. So your next text back in reply should just be the email your email address, a valid one. Um, yeah, so so the way it works is you you get qualified to win by texting in, but you have to provide your email address. We'll notify you one via text, but in order to give you the actual gift, it has to come via email. So we do require the email because I haven't been able to convince my partner uh, on the, the vacation side to switch over 100% to texting yet. So <laughs> and the beautiful thing, I can see one person did it on the website and the remaining four did it through texting. What nice. does that tell you? Excellent. Huh. <laughs> I love it. Yes. It looks like one came in twice. We have, well, okay. I'm not going to go through all that, but. Uh, <laughs> so, I think uh, it's great. I love it. I won't go through the final emails, but what we have so far, just so you guys know that if you made it in this as a exciting. registrant, is Marianne with two R's. Hey, Marianne. Excellent. And then there's jcash427. I won't give the at part because I don't want people just emailing you out of the blue. Uh, I've got Gene Miller with no email address still. Go ahead, Gene. Come on. You can do it. On, Text Gene. it back. Uh, MCash830. He said, Marianne Ufua said, done. Yes. Uh, nice. And then uh, Gene Miller says, I'll do it. I didn't want All to drop right. off the show. I love it. And then there's another <laughs> one. Well, great. We got people entering. This is the way it's supposed to be. We and appreciate it. you out there. How fun. So, uh, so yeah, you get to give away two, two, uh, two vacations in. So there's two with the word cash in it. I wonder if uh, Johnny is trying Husband to double wife. up on us here. Husband it's, and wife uh, team. They're great. They're amazing. Uh, Johnny's wife actually does essential oils. And, uh, uh, man, it's incredible. We, oh, yeah. Uh, it's two different phone numbers. So it's two different people. Or, or Johnny's walking around with two cell phones. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm impressed. Either way, you know. <laughs> but I, I tell you, John, Johnny's wife, here's the cool part about it. Is, is we were at an event just not too long ago, and Johnny was there. And it, it was late. It was a late event. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And, of course, it was out kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's a great place, though. Um, and everybody's kind of a little tired. So he comes around with his uh, with his essential oil for peppermint. And he's just like, just take a little bit of this before you drive, because that way you're safe going home. <laughs> and sure enough, you get all energized with it. So, yeah, this stuff is beautiful. Thank you, Johnny, for that. I appreciate that. Johnny, I could use some essential oils. I have a diffuser. Hey, <laughs> I have a diffuser that uh, it was empty when I started the show, and I usually have this thing running all the time. I love this stuff. I That's love good. the essential oils. But Johnny, if yeah. you got some uh, some really uh, got the right amazing oils, I'll, I'd be open to looking your way for the refill. But uh, that's that's about the show for today, Jason. Excellent. Once again. Hey, man, I am so excited. Thank you so much, Brian. This is just such an incredible opportunity for anybody to bring value, and and you're just the man to make it happen. I, ah. 
I, I'm, I'm honored and blessed to be part of your world. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my brother. Oh, man, I'm gushing. All right, with that, we're going to finally say he got me hooked. I like Gene Miller. Love it. <laughs> we're gonna, it's probably talking about Johnny's oils. <laughs> so we will be announcing the two winners. We will be emailing you and texting you to let you know who those are. Uh, and we Don't will forget the it. hashtag, reach your peak, please, because yep. that's how we know uh, that, you're, that you're celebrating with us. Yeah, please, uh, if you would, also just share this show. Just share it right now. Uh, they'll get the yeah. recording at the end. Uh, they'll be able to see it. If you share it Excellent. to your profile, they'll see the recording version of it. I would love that because we want to spread the word and bring value to as many people as we can. That's what we're all yeah. about is spreading. Excellent. You know, th there there's enough to go around. Trust us. There it's it okay. <laughs> we don't a lot have of to value hold out secrets there to and, ourselves. And, and that's why I'm bringing on Jason. I've got a, lot, a great lineup coming. Uh, you know, I don't know if they can hold the bar up to Jason, but we'll see, won't oh, we? Oh, yeah. But next some week, great people I've seen the list. It's incredible. Yeah, next week. Yeah, if you go to that uh, website, you will see the list That's of people right. we have on par. There's actually two more that I haven't put up there yet that okay. I'm really excited about. It. Actually, three. I take it back. There's three. So it's filling up fast once a week. So we'll see you next week, I hope. Same time, right. 530, as we used to hear when we were kids. Same bat time, same bat same channel. Bat channel. That is it for now. The Mind Body Business Show is signing off. Thank you all for coming on and contributing so and, and talking and commenting. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching and listening. This has been the Mind Body Business Show with Brian Kelly.